We're gonna take Colton outside and show him the new look of our 2022 Mustang. And uh, it should be pretty exciting. I mean, just look at it from right here. It looks so much more mean. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're getting the car a little bit more ready for Ford Takeover coming up here in a few weeks. It's a busy day. We're going to do a couple of mods here. We've got to rip the car apart just a little bit. And then we're going to go over to my buddy's shop and see what he's up to because we're getting it also ready for Ford Takeover and all the drag racing coming up. A little housekeeping. The ESS blower hopefully going on soon. Seeing if we can get in the schedule at HPR. Everybody is trying to get their cars ready and we're trying to do the same thing. So you guys will finally be able to see the new supercharger on our Mustang. But for today's video, this is something that typically I've never done on any of the S550 or any Mustangs that I've ever owned. Form, our good friends at Form, has sent us a couple of things to put on our new Mustang to get this thing looking just a little bit more aggressive. Here we go, we're gonna start with the back. Pop up in the trunk, guys. Here we go. They have three different color options. They've got red, they have a full clear, and then we have the smoke. Hey, real quick too, these things are really not that expensive. Link down below in the video description. Go check them out. Let them know that you saw this video. Let them know that I sent you and they'll be able to hook you up hopefully. But let's open them up and talk about it and show you what's going on. And then we're going to install them. And then we're going to do the headlights as well. And those are really trick. These are legit. Look at that. They still have that clear look, but these things are beautiful. Look at that. This is going to fit the theme of the car going forward so well. All plug and play. So it's going to go right into your factory harness. They've got your grommet here already built on just like the OEM stuff. Right there is kind of like a little vent so you don't get or will not get any condensation with these but we can check out the build quality and it's just like OEM. Kind of how it's going to go right here. Installing these taillights is honestly extremely simple. So you got four of these guys. All right, so check it out. What's next is behind the carpet and you can see some of them here. We've got some 10 millimeter nuts that we're gonna take off. Side by side, we can see that everything looks pretty much like OEM. This little plug is secured in there to keep everything weather tight. All right, so check this out. So let's close the trunk so you guys get the full effect here. That left side looking money, dudes. A little bit more of that smoky appearance over here on the left side versus the right. Turned off. You guys, those are magical looking. Those are delicious looking. Again, they do have the full clear, but I thought with our direction moving forward, the whole stormtrooper kind of look with the black and the white, the smoked was definitely the ticket above the full clear. They do have that, but for my taste, this fits the bill and looks a lot better than that. So let's show you the functionality also before we move on to the front. We got my key. Let's see how these things look. Guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about this. But remember, check out the video description to go visit formlighting.com and go check them out. Let them know that you saw this video and let them know that it helped you out in the sunlight. And now check this out. This is something cool I just found out. So, all right, so here we got the lights off. Now we're going to hit the unlock button. They get bright, but then they kind of go dim. And you only really see the red like in the center. It has like a fade to clear kind of effect. Really looks good guys this is um a game changer in my opinion so now let's flip it around let's do the headlights because it is going to be a vast departure away from the traditional look of the regular mustang what we've had for the past like you know 10 years it is time for our front headlights these are going to look vastly different Oh, check these out, guys. So we all know what these 18 plus headlights look like. Now these are completely different for the form. Check this out. All right. Let's look at these guys. This is a lot more modern, more mean and aggressive. Much smaller area back here for that amber marker, but the LED is all down here, down low. Whole different projector headlight design here. Black housing. They've got like two lenses inside of there. All right, so now I'm not going to bore you with pulling the front bumper off, guys. I've done it a million times. I can do it in about 10 minutes, but not holding a camera. So, so let's just go ahead and jump to it. I'm going to get this thing up on jack stands, rip the front bumper off, and then we'll continue on with the video so you guys are not bored to death. You guys want to see how they look at the car? I do too. So let's go.
if I can do it, you guys can do it. It's really not that bad, just nuts and bolts. Side by side, just like the taillights, this is the before and the after. Major difference here, they are a vast departure away from the look of the OEM stock ones, and this is a lot more modern and aggressive. I like that we have that DRL that kind of chases the bottom here. The amber color that everybody hates is almost just not existent on the side there. It looks really good and hidden. So I like this design. I like this too, but I really like this new updated design. The headlight, see how big this is? It's kind of kind of got like that Hawkeye look. Well, this has got more of that maybe like snake look in there. It's really cool. So a lot smaller as you guys can see. More lighting right there, whereas the OEM does not. It has these three DRLs and then that gets replaced with this. So guys, I'm a big fan. I think this is a really cool look. The new one installed versus this one here. Look how squinty this looks compared to the outgoing. So I give it a little tap here. We can see the DRL. <laughs> Look at that dancing around. That is so sick looking. Versus the old style Tri DRL. This little yellow wire down here, we have to tap into our turn signal. And then this is actually going to operate as a sequential turn signal ink versus this one you can't. So, all right guys, we got it figured out. So we have it spliced into the Regular turn signal down here. Yellow wire though is going to get routed down here. So it's like a yellow and blue wire from the right. On the other side, it's going to be basically the same deal. It's going to be plug facing up. It's going to be this blue one here. It's like a blue and green all the way second from the right. Yo, these things look crazy. The headlights, taillights, completed look on our new Mustang. We're heading up here to my buddy's shop and we're gonna do the full reveal. From a distance, you guys can get the full picture of how everything has come together and I could not be more impressed, guys. I wanna go for them because it's like OEM, but better. When you see them, ooh, uh, it's, it's something different. It is something aggressive, something different that not every other Mustang has. So that's what we wanna do with this Mustang is set it apart somehow it's all the little things that make up the big picture. How can we look the part and look different than every other Mustang on the road? And these headlights and taillights definitely, absolutely did the tricks. What's up, buddy? Tacticalwraps.com. What are you doing? Turn this tick on. Okay. Um, that looks good, dude. Trying to finish up that little bumper. Yeah, how's that going? You're doing PPF on yours, right? Look at this, looking good. Got the drag pack on, well, minus the rear. Looks good. It's cut like the color of his shirt, right? A little sneak peek here. Uh-oh. Um, it's close. Oh, yeah. That's gonna look f wow. Neon green yellow, yellow. Highlighter yellow. Yeah. All right, guys, come check out in the Clarksville, Tennessee area, tacticalwraps.com. Check them out. I'll link everything down below. We're gonna take Colton outside and show him the new look of our 2022 Mustang. And oh, uh, it should be pretty exciting. Some things look good. Yes, sir. We got the new look for the Mustang. We got to get the uh, the little turn signal things. What are, what do they call them? The the, the bottom ones. Diadynamics makes some that are like smoked, or I might just do like a light yeah. tent. But yeah, those look really good. Yeah, man. Um, hit the. Yep. All right, you ready? Ooh. Yeah, they have a little dancing oh, action. Like <laughs> what do you think? Yes, sir. They blink too. They like, yeah, yes, sir. Too. Yes, they do. Those look really aggressive, honestly. They do. So like that front projector is like a lot more squinted. Yep. And uh, I noticed behind some cars when I was driving up here. So this obviously stays on the DRL, right? Yeah. This one here lights up too during the day. Supposed to be brighter with more of a, um, what do they call it? A, a cutoff, mm -hmm. a better cutoff than the regular, like as the lights come out. Better beam. A better beam, yeah. The best part is, check this out. Hold up. Oh, it's got switchbacks like that. Yes, sir. And it's sequential. That's it's sequential, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. That looks good. Oh, I like that. So if you have the diode, the smaller one down there, the yeah. dynamics, it'll actually be sequential as well. And for guys, when you're installing these headlights, if you don't want that top DRL to be sequential, you don't have to hook up that yellow wire. But, you know, we wanted the full experience, so this is how it looks. Man, I like that. <laughs> they look good, don't they? Yeah, get out the tail lights now. Oh yeah, that oh, looks good. Honestly, I think you're, I think you're right. Tinted might look a little bit better on white. Yeah, because you've got the clear. We'll go back inside and we'll yeah. show you how clear looks with the light smoke. I think this is the look. Yeah, those look really good. Yeah, 
Well, it matches everything because I mean, you got yep. it kind of blends in with this a little bit here, it goes in with the, the wing, yep, and then your diffuser, course of tips, you know, yep, good. yep, black tip exhaust, course, uh, black wheels, stormtrooper look, the nice wheels from Variant. <laughs> looks fired, bro, dude. It looks really good, it looks really good. It's really different, good. it's it's way different. See, I didn't know if I was gonna like them at first, but then like seeing them like in it's, person, they look really good. Like, I feel like that's how. It should have came, actually. I mean, just look at it from right here. It looks so much more mean. Whenever I pull, I'll pull my car up in a second. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna pull it up. I'll pull it up and we'll put them side by side. Um, but that's a huge difference. Like, yeah, that's massive. The Corsa. All right, so you got the old and then you got the new side by side. It is kind of maybe like Euro-ish. Definitely, yes. You know, but it's kind of modernized, I guess. Let me, let me hit the See, make sure it's unlocked. I like that better than I like these, honestly. You like the new the new one better? Well, I like having your like teardrop type style looking thing here. So. It kind of draws like a, like a V-Zen on the, uh, the front there more so than that. Yep. So kind of a cool look, especially with that, that squinted projector where you have the round. Well, if I look at this, like yeah. my eyes, I'm, at, I'm automatically get attached to here. Yeah. You know, and if I look at mine, I kind of get, I mean, honestly, you just kind of get, it's kind of just bland. You know, like every other Mustang, you know? Tell you what, black looks good when it's clean. Uh, always. So you have clear, which is offered from form lighting. It'll look just like this as the Ford, but it'll look identical versus the smoke. So a little bit of a difference. And then they also have full red if you just want like a replacement. Big improvement with the tail lights and the headlights from Form Lighting. Go check them out. So one more look. You got the old, we got the new. I'm butchering my words. <laughs> Go check out the links down below if you are interested in these headlights or taillights. Lots of options and lots of functionality. So I'm digging the new look and it's only going to get bigger, better, faster, and meaner from here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Get ready for the ESS supercharger going on here soon. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's go.